All right, guys, so now that you got your te Tetrix Prism, um, what we want to do is get things up and running. So the first thing that we got to do is get your battery pack connected to the Prism. And it's relatively easy. It's super simple. What we're going to do here is we have our Prism here. We've got a battery. Um, and then with your Prism comes a set of wires, which you see here, um, an on-off switch, and actually, you also get this case which fits on real nice with the Tetrix uh, prism when you have a max set or something like that. Now I haven't taken the casing off, but it looks real nice. As you've probably seen in other designs, this is the kind of switch that you'll get. But for now, we're just going to power it up, make sure we got power to it. And so all we're doing is just taking your red wires here, these two end pieces that are blue, and we've got our switch. And we're just going to wire these up. This allows us to operate the on and off power of the battery with the switch. So we're just going to go ahead and plug these in. It's pretty straightforward. Just slide right on. You got that. Then go ahead and just connect to your battery pack. There's only one way for this to go on. Make sure you hear it click in when you've got it. I say that and now I can't get it clipped in. There we go. And now we just take the prongs here, the red and black, and on our prism over here on the bottom right hand side there's two options for your battery for the 12 volt. You just line the red and black up and slide it on in. We're good to go. If we hit this switch then, we should see the blue and green light pop on and know we're in business. There's the blue, loading up, there's the green, and away we go. So now that you know how to do that, let's jump into our first program. All right, so the next step is to get Arduino up and running on your computer. If you've used Arduino in the past and you already have it installed, you're in great shape. This is what you see, you know how to load up Arduino. But if this is your first time, what you wanna do, um, you can do a couple things. One, you can go to arduino.cc, which you go right here, and you can go to the download and download exactly what you need. The other option is you can go to tetrixrobotics.com backslash prism downloads. And here you can download the Arduino software. You're going to have to go here regardless because once you download and install the Arduino software, you're going to need this prism robotics controller Arduino library. This gives you the code to actually connect and speak with the prism. So you're going to need to go ahead and download that as well. And there's going to be some other things here. At the time, the quick start guide is right here. It's kind of basically what I'm going through with you now. Um, and this program guide is going to be coming down the road to get you going with some, some basic programs, some of which I'll probably share with you just because they tend to be the basics of any sort of programming. And so go ahead and download that Arduino software. I'm not going to go through that whole process to already have it installed. It's really simple. It takes a couple clicks, and boom, you'll be up and running with Arduino, which is what you're going to see right here. And... You also need to download the Prism Arduino library. And so what you need to do, once you have Arduino installed and the Prism Arduino library downloaded, what you need to do is just import that library. And so what you do, once you're in Arduino, is you pop up here to sketch, and you're just going to go down here to include library and add that zip library. And then you just go through and find whatever that library is, wherever it is that you have it um, installed. And so I've already got it, but we'll go ahead and just put it in one more time just to be safe so you can see what it looks like. I can't remember what it was called. Let's pull it back up here. Tetrix Prism. Okay. So sketch. Add zip library. I'll pop on down here. There's a zip right there. We're going to go ahead and choose that. Um, now, for me, it already exists. You would have that in there already. It would say it was good to go and installed. And then away we go rocking and rolling. So once you have that, then you're ready to go. And you can tell if you're ready because you can go up here to File and you can go to Examples. And you'll have the Tetrix Prism right here. And you're going to be able to see those examples there for you. The last thing that you're going to want to check 
before we go into the actual programming with the basic Hello World uh, program is we just want to check our board. Uh, and so what we're going to do is you're going to plug in your, your, your prism and you're just going to want to check that when that shows up here that the board is selected to our Arduino Uno. It may pick up a different one. You want to check there. Your port should take care of itself. If you have issues, just reach out. We can help. I'm not going to go through all that now because that can get a little confusing even though it's simple. And once you have that, it is time to begin programming. So let's jump on in. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to jump into the first kind of tutorial of getting ready for Prism to join us with the typical standard Hello World.